What's up guys? This is Adit from TechZeezy. So today I'm going to show you how to use your phone as a webcam on your PC. So these days, having a camera on your PC has become a necessity. But let's say your camera isn't working or the quality isn't that good. Then today I'm going to show you how to connect your phone to your PC and then you can use the camera of your phone as a webcam. So not only for meetings, then if you're on a screen record or anything like that. So let's get started. For this, all you need is a Wi-Fi connection or you can follow a second method of connecting your phone with your laptop via USB. But personally, I prefer the Wi-Fi connection as that's much simpler and it's much faster. So the first thing that you have to do is go to your phone and then go to the Play Store or the App Store and just search for Droid Cam. So this is how the app looks. After that, just install the app. So after it's installed, just give them permission to your camera and they have some other terms and agreements and then just click on accept. So once you've installed Droid Cam on your phone, you'll have to go to your PC and then go to their website to download the app. So then just open your browser and then go to dev47apps.com Droid Cam. So then just click on the first icon, which is Droid Cam for Windows. Now for this, just click on the Windows icon over here to download Droid Cam. So now it's getting installed. So after it's installed, you'll just have to install it like a normal app. Just click on accept and give them all the permissions. And once it's done, just open it. So over here, I've opened the Droid Cam app and this is how it looks. And you can decide if you want to connect via Wi-Fi or USB, or then you can create a Wi-Fi server. But like I said before, connecting over Wi-Fi is the easiest way you can connect. So there's one thing which you have to make sure, and that is that your phone and your PC have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And once that's done, you've just got to enter the device IP and the Droid Cam port, which is given in your phone. So now I've added the device IP and now there's one thing left to do. Just check the box, which is next to video and audio if you want to, and then click on start. And now over here, you can see that the camera of my phone has come as well. So now I'll quickly show you some settings which are on the phone. So this is the view which will be on your phone. And if you click on the three dots on the top right and go to white balance, then over here you can change the white balance. So if I select twilight, you can see that it's changed. Now the next setting which I really like is anti-flicker. So over here, if you select automatic and then if there's movement in your camera, it'll just be much smoother. So these are basically all the settings. And if you want to disconnect your phone, then you can again click on the three dots and click on stop. So now your phone and PC will be disconnected. So I'll just show you how it works in a meeting. So this camera, I'm controlling it via my phone and now I'll just open Zoom. And you can follow the same methods for Skype or Google Meet or any other app. So now I'll just start a new meeting and then I'll click on this arrow, which is next to start video. Over here, you'll find two new sources, which are Droid Cam Source 3 and Droid Cam Source 2. So now click on Droid Cam Source 2 you can try both of them and start your video. And now this video is being taken by my phone. 